So, I'd like to talk about how authentic the n Devastated Dreams will be, because I think that's a, a reasonable question to ask, um, because essentially I'm seeing the Philippines through foreigners' eyes, and so uh, it is possible that it may not be represented the same way that um, someone who lived there um, uh, would would see it. And I think that's, that's a legitimate concern, but I think more so that, that, you know, what I'm doing doesn't take away from anything, um, you know, Filipino game developers are definitely welcome to explore similar, similar themes, and, and, and this is just sort of my spin on it. Uh, and, and my spin, of course, is, is informed by the, the themes and, and the story I want to explore. The, um, basically the, the, the theme of, of, you know, being fearful for nine months, you know, the, the, the challenges, the stress, the anxiety of, of sort of waiting for your child to be born and hoping that no disaster happens, uh, which which has been very challenging for me on a personal level, and we we still have some time to go, uh, so it's it's still tough. Um, but uh, so I mean that's sort of first and foremost what I, what I think. Well, I guess first and foremost is really the horror. Uh, we want to make something scary because otherwise. The, I don't think that the game will be as as interesting. Um, but then the, the then the themes and then authenticity is important to me. And certainly, uh, you know, I can't become a a natural born uh, Filipino, but uh, I do have um, the resource of my wife uh, who um, lived in in the Philippines for most of her life, um, and uh, our our family. Um, and, and friends, we, we obviously we know a lot of people in the Philippines, and, and uh, I've been there, and, and uh, so I am, you know, showing the Philippines at least through my eyes from from being there. Um, but but I mean the idea of authenticity is really important to me because uh, the culture is really important to me, and I want to represent it in a way that everyone can feel good about. Um, because, I mean, potentially people could say, oh, you know, you're taking advantage of, of our culture, which is, is, I mean, I don't know why someone would say that. People can say anything, but, I mean, that's certainly not my intent. Uh, I, I think of it almost more as a celebration of the culture or, or a, a way to show people about the culture and, and, and the country and, um, you know, obviously there's some things that, that we're showing, uh, you know, in terms of, like, poverty and, and things like that that maybe aren't positive, but it's, there, there definitely is, is some poverty in, uh, the Philippines, and I would say that, that it's more of an issue in the U.S., um, uh, sorry, more of an issue than in the U.S., that, that word was <laughs> important. Um, so, but I think the, in terms of authenticity, uh, you know, when I, I, I sort of pitch things to my wife, and, and when I first pitched her sort of this, this story arc and, and what I had in mind, you know, she, she felt like it was not a Filipino story. I mean, in that the, the voice telling the story is not Filipino, uh, which, I mean, is technically true, obviously. Um, because, you know, it was a story that I was pitching, um, but she was saying that it didn't really feel, uh, Filipino, and so, uh, I can't promise that the final project, uh, will, will feel Filipino in, in terms of, you know, uh, the, the general narrative and the characters, I mean, eh, um, but it, it is something that I strive for, and it is something I'm working towards, and, and after getting that feedback from my wife, I, I definitely did some, some, some rejiggering uh, of the story, and, and tried to put, you know, at, at the forefront, um, the, the things that, that are, um, that, that are more Filipino, um, and, and tried to make it feel a bit more Filipino, and so, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, right, like, 
I'm making this game and, you know, I want it to be scary and meaningful and, and interesting. And so, I mean, that that's sort of um, the main things that I think about. But authenticity is definitely... Um, definitely something that that is very important to me and being fair to the the subject uh, material the the other thing that that's interesting is just the idea of um, you know authenticity to something where it differs in terms of you know regional folklore and so uh, that's something where I think we, we have some general direction, but we have some room to improvise. So, for example, our character designs may not look as, as a Filipino might imagine the particular type of Oswang, but, I mean, we want something terrifying, and, uh, you know, th there's not a lot of guidance. <laughs> um, which, which can be good and, and bad. I think it gives our artists a chance to shine and do something really weird and creepy and awful, um, which are, are all uh, positive things uh, for a horror game like we're making. But it also um, can be a little, uh, you know, challenging to try and create something that captures this nebulous idea that's not really well defined um, and... and uh, you know, create that and, and show that in, in our game. So it's definitely been challenging, but I think it's been, it's been very interesting uh, as, as a developer, and I think it's been very rewarding to me personally uh, working on the game, and hopefully the team would say the same thing. So thanks for watching.